Now we are talking women's health today with our next guest who is highly regarded as a specialist in this field and has a passion for women supporting their own health. Welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Dr Emma Parry. Good morning. Morning. Now what do you mean by supporting our own health for starters? Um, well, I think one of the things is that um, it's good for people to take responsibility for their health and the mm. things that we can do is think about what we're eating and so it's a good idea to eat lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, organic if you can. Mm. I have a garden and I force my kids to eat veg all the time, they're quite sick of it. Um, <laughs> a bit less meat than we're used to eating and also getting a bit more exercise. Right, um, so just looking after your well-being. Absolutely and I think for me as a doctor, I'm usually the ambulance at the bottom of the cliff. So. Mm. I'll see people when things have gone wrong and I'm really passionate about empowering women to be able to say well look this is my health and I can do some things to help keep myself right. healthy. To maybe yeah. stop the things going wrong. So what are the most common conditions that you see affecting women? A lot of women uh, suffer from urinary tract infections. Mm. Um, these are more common in women than men and it's really to do with the anatomy of the bladder and the urethra. Uh, this is the tube that runs from the bladder outside and because it's so close to the vagina then there's a lot of bacteria that can enter up into the bladder and usually they just get flushed away but in some women they get, the bacteria get a hold and cause a urine infection. So what happens there? Oh it's awful, uh, really sore, uncomfortable, difficult to pass urine and usually women will end up on antibiotics and those antibiotics have their own issues in that they can upset your gut uh, create changes uh, in the bacteria in the gut because they don't just kill the bacteria that are in the bladder that are causing infection, they also have an effect on bacteria in other other areas of the body. So, right, so you really need to look at rebuilding all of those things. Absolutely. So Lifestream has a good probiotic? Absolutely and I, I, would, I would think strongly about taking a probiotic if you've been on antibiotics or if you've had something that's really upset upset your gut um, and we have a, an advanced probiotic which is fantastic for that. Yeah. So if you are a woman who suffers repeatedly from UTIs is this something you, that you can be doing? Can you reduce the risk? Yeah well it's, ideally you want to do that because one it's really uncomfortable. Yeah and we've all suffered from them at some Absolutely. stage. Absolutely and mm. two you don't want to keep taking courses of antibiotics because you'll get resistance to them and you know other problems like candida or thrush. So one thing that you can do is think about taking a high potency cranberry and cranberry has been shown, well, that's a, you know, you think of mm. it as a fruit that you put on your cereal. Cranberry has actually been shown to reduce the chances of urinary tract infections so, recurring. So drinking cranberry juice isn't going to really be enough? Um, not really. You, you're better to go for a supplement that has a high potency. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that way you're, you're going to actually reduce your chances. Um, it seems to affect the way that the bladder lining works so that it can repel the bacteria from, from getting a hold in there. It sounds like it should be a good thing. Yeah. Our, our diet has changed too quite a lot in, in, the, in the last, well, multiple years really. I mean, are there things that we should be concerned about? I think that going back to that sort of organic vegetables, what we're eating, yeah. what we're finding is that the way that we're farming, um, the way that we're, we're eating nowadays is changing our diet and, and what supplements and what minerals mm. we're actually getting from, from our food. Because there's less minerals in the soil too, isn't there? Absolutely. And so if you think back a hundred years, then um, it would have been quite different what people ate. And certainly there are certain areas that we would say, look at your diet, think about what you're eating and think about whether you do need to supplement your intake. When I think of women's health, um, um, thinking about calcium for example there's a couple of areas which would be quite worth thinking about so for women who are postmenopausal mm -hmm. really important for bones that they have a good adequate um, calcium intake um, and also if you think about those teenagers they're growing like at a million miles they do need a good intake which is above average for for calcium and I know from my own experience that some teenage girls are thinking about their diet and a lot of them might yes. be avoiding dairy because of ethical reasons they don't they don't want to be um, eating uh, animal products or so it seems cool and they, they think it's exactly mm. yeah exactly um, or maybe they're lactose intolerance and so for that reason they're also avoiding dairy so they might not be getting enough calcium so they should exactly. look at taking a supplement absolutely well that's fascinating you're a great person to have around it's always yeah. good, to good to have have a lady doctor yeah. a lady parts lady doctor I okay. think I was gonna say I think with the calcium um, what what 
what Livestream have is a fantastic calcium, which is actually um, a plant-based calcium. So it comes from a sea vegetable. Right. And it has this amazing honeycomb structure, which makes it very porous and easily absorbed. And so it's a really good option because it is vegetarian, vegan, and it, it is very well absorbed for, for women. Excellent. Thank you so much, Emma. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. And Dr. Emma has brought along Livestream, Livestream supplements rather for everyone here in the studio audience. Yay. And all of these products are available at Health 2000 stores. Just ask their friendly staff to point you in the right direction. Dr. Emma, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.